Well, the YouTube true crime tip site and everything else, they got a little thing going on here about a comment that I got. And, um, okay, let's take a perspective of if this girl was the aggressor. Um, don't get me wrong, if anybody knows about women being aggressive, is me, believe it or not. Experience. Yes, I'm experienced with um, aggressive women. And I will not say a name, but I will tell you this. All right? <laughs> Actually, let me get this picture back up. <clears throat> All right. Aggressive. So someone's chewing me out on a comment. And, um, on two sides of every story, I'll give you my thoughts, theories, and ideas. Once again, this is non-scripted videos, folks. Experience is where this comes from. And, uh, <clears throat> sometimes when people come at me, you know, well, let's just put it this way. I like to make a point. And, um, of course, everything will unravel at the end of the video of what I'm going to say. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so, first off, okay, let's just say she is the aggressor. Um, <clears throat> don't get me wrong, I've been with an aggressive woman. And I will not say who, of course, I'm not mentioning no names, but you will get the story of what happened. And, um, and the only reason why I'm doing this video is because, right, why am I sticking up for the woman is what this person is saying. When she was the aggressor, he was getting beat up, um, <clears throat> and so forth. And for one, the only witnesses that seen um, him hitting her is the case. He hitting her. He aggressive at restaurant. She did obviously fight back. But one can only say that could be due to self-defense. Um, but. Okay, so if she was starting to get violent, say so, throughout the trip, if she is the one that has the more serious, severe mental problems, okay, I can say that she was hitting him, and he had enough of it, all right, and all right, hit her back. But you know what? If that is the case, okay, I'll give the benefit of the doubt because now I'm going to tell my story. See, I went with this girl. In the beginning, things was great. Um, but three problems. One, I had a drinking problem. Two, she had a drinking problem. Three, she had a boyfriend long before I came along, that cheated, made a bet on if she could get this woman in bed, and he admitted it to her because she told me. And not only that, got her knocked up pregnant, not once, but twice. And, uh, you know, this person that I know went to court because now this new woman, all right, <clears throat> um, said that she was trying to run her over with a car. She was harassing her and her boyfriend. Um, that pretty much she didn't even exist anymore. And that she had been with this guy longer than the original one. And yes, it did a lot of traumatizing. 
I can tell you that. So, you know, in the beginning of our relationship, I mean, I assured her that that ain't gonna be me doing that to you. No. And I think in the beginning of the relationship, this girl I was with got a little taste of freedom because not only did she have a boyfriend before me that did all that, she had another boyfriend that beat her up, all right? That's all I'm gonna say. Now, I get the aftermath from both of her past relationships. I did nothing of the kind but just be a deadbeat drunk. That's all I ever did to her. And when you mix two alcoholics, and like I say, this person is, the reason why I got with her is because she is the type of person that likes to, you know, if you get in her face, <laughs> she tomboy your ass and kick it. Everything about her, I, you know, imagined having for a woman. But things took a turn for the worst because... It started to get to the point where she would go out by herself with her cousin or friends, and I would go out with my friends because, right, I mean, sometimes we'd go out together. Well, I'd go out with the cousin too, but it just got to the point where, <clears throat> you know, she started doing some shady stuff. But this is not the point of the story. The story is, is that when I started going out and hanging around with my friends and my drinking boy led me to two or even a day of not coming home or hell, there was even one time I went upstairs in my mother's house because she lived in the second floor apartment from me and fell asleep on the toilet. That's how bad my drunken days was. And when I woke up out of that drunk, it's like, where the hell am I? What the f what? I'm in the wrong bathroom. <laughs> but mind you, maybe four to five times, all right, you want to talk about aggressive. I have a scar on my eye. I don't know if we can see it. Please bear with me and don't get scared, but let's see here if I can show you. Is it right here? See that little scar there? Yeah, that's right. That's from this girl I was with. Mind you, I was drunk. And, um... <clears throat> and due to the fact that I found something or something was going on with her, you know, I was doing something stupid, but, you know, whatever. And I used to have the basement apartment where I lived, and I had a cellar where I had a drum set set up because I had had one at the time. And I had all my equipment in there to, you know, with music and learn how to play, right? I was, you know, I've been playing music and instruments since I was a teenager, and um, I went on to from a guitar, try out the drums, and, you know, I was doing every little thing, to, you know, <clears throat> Too bad I couldn't have got into that career. But anyways, as I turn around and get done arguing with her, because it was a big argument, boom, I feel my head go up against the door casing threshold. Pull my head back, I got blood dripping out of my face. And that was one. Another night, come home, she's deliberated, and I was a little drunk and... Oh, man, she got set off on something. And that, you know, and I'm doing Toro with the Mexican bullfighter stuff as she's charging me, trying to rip my face off. The next time was a uh, time where I was sleeping. Mind you, I went home early this night. She went out. She was drinking. I had enough, go to bed, and what happens? I wake up to a fist to the face, a handful of hair being pulled, 
And mind you, I might have gotten punched at least eight times before I got up, try to, you know, push her out of the way and get out of the house and run away from her. But because it was a narrow space between the bed and the dresser, it kind of, she kind of hit the dresser, fell. And as I extended my foot, I stepped on her ankle by accident. And I thought I stepped on a shoe or something, but because I was out of, I was coming out of a drunk and I was dizzy. I was, you know, <laughs> she fell, started crying. I could hear her screaming. She called the cops and then yeah, I ended up with a broken ankle. So, man, what is she doing? Then the last time was it for me. This was the time where I... I had enough um, due to the fact that I had my older brother at the time, mind you, fresh out of jail from a home invasion, home invasion due to some bar whore he home wrecked on with her boyfriend, mind you, and them two got into it and he, my stupid brother did the worst thing you could ever do. And beat the guy up with a bike chain belt that he made off from a uh, trike. Um, he made a chain belt and beat the guy with it. <clears throat> Due to the fact that we started having bad blood with each other because of this bar whore. And that's exactly what I call her. I don't lay nothing back. That's what she was. And as you can see, she went off with my brother when her boyfriend was still in the friggin' house with her. And yeah, it led to a big old brawl. But due to that fact, and then me and my brother started hitting it off like, what, what, what is up with you, man, with this, you know, this bitch? She gets you in jail and, you, and he's still chasing her. When he gets out, it's like, wow. What did she do? Suck you through a garden hose or something? It's like, what? There's no woman in the world. That I would have stayed with in seven years out of jail and we get home invasion and oh my god, it was just and he started we started going after each other. It was just one of them times where we were just like not beating each other up, but we were going and having words with each other. Come to the point one night he's in my window saying, Oh, okay. you know, doing all this freaky shit. And I was like, what? One day I woke up out of bed out of that. And I went out and confronted, what the, f what are you doing? With? I don't even remember what the hell we were talking about. It's like, what the, what are you doing in my window? What are you, a freak? So, yeah. Anybody in their right mind is going to have their guard up, but... <laughs> I had drank in a big friggin' liter of uh, uh, brandy, and yeah, I fell asleep, and it was the day before Thanksgiving. All right, what had happened is another night, getting beaten up out of bed, bang, 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 bang. And um, I got up off the couch not knowing where I was. I didn't even know where I was. The only thing that woke me up out of this drunk was my... The person that I was with, my person that I was with, started crying out loud because what had happened, I got up and I took a big right hook because I thought that was my brother. I thought he got in my house. I thought he was beating me up, and, you know, for whatever reason we were going at it at the time. And it was stupid shit too, man. And I tell you, and I was like, wham, and then I heard, ah, like, oh, shit. So I literally, you know, both times, mind you, I got arrested. I got arrested for that, too. And I was outside up against the camper that I had because this was all in the making. I was getting ready to, you know, end this relationship. And after that, it was done. So, but what is the moral of the story? Experience, folks. Experience. What's the moral of the story? I just finished with the moral of the story because I just said I was getting done. I was getting ready to the end, and I did. I moved that camper out of my yard, and I went somewhere else and moved in it. I was done. <clears throat> I didn't want to hurt you know, this person no more because, yeah, a broken foot, a punch in the face, that was enough for me. 
whether or not I did it on accident and it was completely an accident. Yes, it was because who beats up someone out of their sleep and when they're drunk? And that's the case, you know, it's, and I, you know, I, to this day, I still feel guilty. I wish it never happened, but it did. But, you know, hey, everybody has his tale. Everybody has a story. And still, what are you sitting there saying? What does this got to do with this? She was the aggressor. She did this to him. All right. See, women can be aggressive. But look, look at this sight. You see me? See him. This is the point of the matter. Put it in your brain and end this comment conversation. Three words. I walked away. This guy did not walk away. It doesn't matter who the aggressor was. The moral and the point of this story is that both of them walk away. Done. If you, and this is what I said in a previous video. This was a perfect time for these two lovebirds as woman, man, engagement, to see how they were going to be. And, and this was perfect for them to figure out, are they going to be able to last together? Perfect. Right here. That example. Road trip is a perfect. And mind you, that's right. <clears throat> a perfect way to produce what you need to do with each other if you can handle withstand or even say so oh wow and i spent a long time with that person and yeah it was either straighten up or get out so the moral of the story is you see me and i'll tell you something i have on record I'm not proud of it, but I do. I almost killed a man. All right? Come in my house, home invasion? You don't do that. Not proud of it, but I defend myself. And if, oh man, if I wanted to do this to this girl, you know, and think about, oh, look what she does to men. Look what she did to me. She would have done this to somebody else later on, right? <clears throat> Who knows? All I know is, is that I walked away from it. These two, it doesn't matter who's the aggressor. It doesn't matter who did what. That girl should have called her father and, or that guy should have called his parents, either one of them, to say, pick me up, I have had enough. No, <clears throat> that didn't even happen. They got to the point where whoever was beating up who had enough, which was him. All right, I'll just put it out there as that. Whoever had enough. I've been in that predicament, but to do what he did, <clears throat> doesn't matter what this woman did to him. Now I'm going to get real brutalized because you know what? I don't care if a woman six foot two has a reputation as a wrestler. Save the wrestlers. Perfect example. If they came up to me. Or say so I was in a relationship with them. Right? And they batted me around. I don't care if that woman was six foot two, had a bodybuilding body. <clears throat> and, you know, hit me, hit me, hit me, abuse me, hit me. I wouldn't once raise a hand to that person twice. I wouldn't even imagine of 
killing that person. Because unfortunately, okay, I get it. If he is the victim, well, the idiot now has to sit in jail because he had enough and he did it his way. And <laughs> stupidness. I don't care who was the aggressor. And she was beating him up. Oh, well, I got beaten up. And I just told my whole story to the world. Am I embarrassed? No. Because a man knows when to walk away. And a man don't put his hands on a woman. Unfortunately, in my case, whatever, say what you will. I was a drunk. 17 years. I could drink a gallon of rum to myself. But I led to a lot of blackouts, too. And them happen to be two blackouts that I regret having. <clears throat> Not only that, between my family now, wife, kids, and episodes like that when I was a drunk, it was stories like that that said, you know what, I got to quit this crap. Done. Cold turkey. Put myself in jail, mind you, and I did it. Did it. Um, But... No excuse. I don't care who's the aggressor in this. That guy should have kept him hands on himself. Now he's making himself look like a damn fool. Murdered someone. And he's going to spend the rest of his life in jail when he gets caught. Hey, it sucks to say. It doesn't matter who the aggressor was. You don't do that to a woman. Period. You don't kill him. You don't beat them, you get out of there. You don't defend yourself, you get out of there. Me, out. That's it. I'm not going to sit there, oh, you hit me? Bang, I hit you. No, that ain't how it works, man. <clears throat> a real man don't hit or put these on a woman. No, end of story. I don't care. That's just... I don't care if that woman kicked you in your ball sack. You take it like a man, you get up, you walk away. And I've gotten kicked in the... Ho, 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 ho. And yeah, I got that bit of rage. And mind you, I had a broken rib. Broken rib. Stupidness from drunk. Fell on a lawnmower. Cracked my rib. That girl I spoke of, that was another thing. Oh, geez, I'm glad I just remember that. Boom, right in the rib. <laughs> Talk about you can't breathe. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Should I go on with the stories? No, I don't need to go on anymore. Not once did I. You know what happened that day? We were out in Boston. <clears throat> visiting. Went and took the train. She had a brother and sister, <clears throat> and, <clears throat> you know, just because of the bad vibes that were going on, <clears throat> um, all right, I walked away. That's right. Where did I go? I went to an Irish bar, mind you. <laughs> Holy crap. You want to talk about people out in Boston and this? I wish I could remember what the Irish bar was because I would like to go back there. But, oh, my God, as soon as I walked in that door, I, I had like maybe 10 bucks in my or 20 bucks in my pocket. I walked out with 20 bucks in my pocket. I didn't even have to buy my own drinks. These guys are aye, oh, yay, singing, freaking dancing. They're all, hey, and they Shut me up against the bar. Buy this man a drink. I'm like, what the? F and then I got talking to a guy. I got a broken rib. He's oh, have a drink. And I say, like, wow. <clears throat> I walked out of that bar with like five drinks later. Buzzing like a bastard. Went back to the train and went home and had another big argument. But that's right. Slamming the rib. Slamming the rib. But... Where am I? <clears throat> I'm in my basement. I'm doing a video. And I'm not on a manhunt being chased down for a murder of some girl that, all right, beat him up, put him in through the ringer, annoyed the, probably the shit out of him, 
And now he's got to worry about spending the rest of his life in jail if the Gators haven't got him already. But all right, I give the benefit of the doubt. I just told my whole story. You think I'm ashamed that I got beat up by a woman? Nope. Nope. I'm not. I learned from experience. And I've also learned to keep your hands off women. Doesn't matter what they do to you. <clears throat> I'm sorry, but hey, if she was the aggressor, hey, he had a choice. That's right, he could have went home. Went home. Not have the cops at his parents' door, where is your son? No, he could have went home and said, I had enough of her. She, I, I would've, This would have been the perfect time to say, you want to have a fiancé? You want to be married? Are you going to handle this? Did they? Nope. It wasn't going to work. And sadly, someone lost their life. So That's my thoughts, theories, ideas on this. <clears throat> Whatever, the guy did what he did. He's got to pay the price. Nothing you can say nor do about it. There's no defense in this. There's no defense. If he would have just left it alone, it would have been fine. No, he had to kill her. Whatever. Sucks to say, I'm still out. I'm still here. Even though, yeah, I will admit, I had thoughts, oh, I want to kill this bitch. Oh, she did this and it's like, oh, man. But, nope away. For one, it's not worth it. For two, I'm not being labeled as a woman beater. Oh, hell no. Uh-uh. No way. You got my story, and that's the truth. I have no hidings of nothing. I bring out the brutal truth experience, and this guy's a friggin' dipstick. Walk away. Till the next video, be safe, take care, always beware, and always believe. Should be having some good ghost stories coming up. But on this, wow. But I, I've got to hit the Walmart and do my next video, too. I haven't, don't forget about that. <clears throat> They're calling this a racist thing. Well, wait until you see how many people that I... See at Walmart that don't I never seen on the TV, <laughs> and it's like wow, Walmart's got it. Why ain't the national news doing it? You know what? I think news stations. Another thought theory idea that should happen. They should start posting old. Doesn't matter how far back. But they should start posting all these. Have a little time and section. In the news, they got time for the weather. They got time to talk about the stupid government and what they're doing. They got time to stop and listen to Joe Biden. Well, how about stop and listen to how many kids are missing out there that are not being reported? Why ain't the news doing this? Why ain't the news stopping their show? Oh, by the way, we have, and it should be every day, a photo of a picture of someone missing. That's what I think. Should if I was a manager there, psh, get up that photo of this kid. Boom. <clears throat> Whatever. <laughs> I. Th it's all gonna be in my next video of why I think that they don't get publicis publicity like national cases like this. All right, people out.